Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you. We glorify your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Lord, we love you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this midst. You are the teacher, Lord Jesus. You are the guider. You are comforter. Spirit of understanding is upon that everyone who is watching live or who is listening this teaching, Lord. Touch the touch their heart with your anointing, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This teaching you made so very simple and easy to understand. You take complete control of my spirit, soul, and my body. You are going to teach us. Nobody can teach us, Lord. But I speak it by my faith in Jesus' name that we already received. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Uh, today, we all are going to learn about what is faith. Yesterday, I gave that definition, what is faith. Faith uh, is uh, evidence that things hoped for, things hoped for which are not seen. Faith is a unseen. And how the faith comes. Let's go Romans 10.17. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So faith comes from hearing what is told. From hearing and what is heard comes by the preaching of the message concerning Christ. Some of translation uh, is telling so faith comes by hearing and hearing. Uh, I think I will go that KGV version. Praise God. Yes. yes. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Here, that word hearing is two times. One is hearing that it is a physical ear and another one is hearing it's a spiritual ear. It means continuously, continuously. And take this, for example, take the one topic about faith or emotions or grace, whatever. Take up one topic and continuously hearing that same topic and then the faith comes. And how how it is faith comes means we are, uh, for example, let me give an example. Um, one one uh, A, A person and B person, okay? Just this is for an uh, example. So, one of that A person is having ABCD sickness. And B person is knows the God's word. And that B person comes and tells that A person that by the stripes and wounds of Jesus that you are completely healed. Just, and that B person was telling to A person just keep on confess that scripture and believe. Believe it means action corresponding that what I message heard or received. Believe it means that we are acting on according what God's word says. So 
one day over, two day over, that teaching was listening, that A person, that whatever that uh, B person was told and A person was acting on it one day or two day. And third day or might be fourth day, it was tires comes and otherwise might be that symptoms shows are severe and where is our faith in the midst of sickness or in the midst of trials in the midst of troubles so here the god's word teaches us teach, teaching us for that faith will move our mountain it means we should we, we should not tell by mouth that we have faith in God, but we should act that faith is is there uh, faith we has faith, we should act on it. For example, whatever that situation comes, our faith should not waver like a sea. Our faith just be firm, we stand firm. And be still that and we can know that God is living inside of us. And even God one who can that make a way straight and that breaks every crooked way. Because that much faith becomes a strong. Um, thank you, Jesus. I will take this uh, standby scripture on Matthew that uh, sower and seed. Thank you, Jesus. And that, uh, my sister, can you help me that scripture? Uh, uh, wise man and foolish man. Praise God. Is it Matthew 7, 24, 27? Yes, please God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sister. Yes, please God. Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine, your mind means God's word, and do it them, I will liken him unto wise man, which built his house upon a rock. It means, rock means your foundation, that God's word. Like, um, here the scripture was... Uh, teaching us about rock and sand, differences between the rock and sand. And the one who is built his house upon the rock, it was not waves, uh, it was not fall, fell down or nothing. And when we are built on the, uh, built our house upon the sand, when the wind came and it was blast. It means that exact the scripture shows us that uh, trials, if our faith is not uh, strong in God's word or aligned with God's word, even one point of uh, troubles comes or trials comes, we are quick to fell, fell down or fail.
and the rain descended and the floods floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon the rock because it's a it's a builded or it's a strongly it's a deeply or rooted in the word of god so flood came flood yeah flood means trials might be situation whatever uh it's a becomes a rare, a rare or it becomes severe whatever it is we are not to shaken we are be still because we we are faith in god and we are uh, based on our unseen going that unseen and but we it means we are, we are not shaken and we are not fall down or any situation this is what exact example uh this matthew 24 to 27 was teaching us and everyone that hears these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be like an unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and for example i'm taking on this scripture uh for, uh, when we are coming retreats and on that inside of retreat we are experiencing a great joy anointing everything is done nicely and the real battle was starting the outside outside of the retreat and there outside of the retreat how much we are practicing this thing that god's word in a daily life and that joy becomes becomes a building of faith making us stronger than stronger than stronger praise god and next verse and the rain descended and the flood came and the wind blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it thank you jesus so now we are all our children of god we should not fail. we are most of most time we are fed up and still we are running behind of jesus we are seeking that uh, we are seeking that presence of god we are seeking that wisdom of god whatever that day passed the day passed which as we fail in many areas of our life forget about those things and come forward run behind of jesus not behind of people because people are not a source jesus is a source he is a best and best friend he is a father he is a mother he is a everything he is a source he is a strength he is a guide he is a helper jesus just call out the name of jesus and that name in the in the name of jesus that every tongue should confess every knee should bow the name of jesus there is a power of the name of jesus thank you jesus and the, and god said if you have faith or like a grain of mustard seed you can move the mountains do you know that mustard seeds how tiny it was in that seed of a uh, grain of a seed we have that faith we can move the mountains so praise god thank you jesus thank you holy spirit i will share one testimony here according to this topic 
so last two days my lord taught, taught me that i should take love and forgiveness to topic and which it means this both topic are i experienced it my real life because and what i experienced it it in my real life that many souls should be saved to god's kingdom so lord taught me to to uh, take this topic and holy spirit teaches us from this every each and every points so last two days back i was experienced lots of trials troubles through my austere romance but but i i just always and always i was praying and blessing that one who is coming against of me and that avoidance of um, even might be a family members even or uh, might be our loved ones there is so lots of avoidance comes that i should not listen that god's word so i use that only one word luke 24 uh, 23 34 first i used myself because i am also making mistakes i i am not perfect because god is one who the perfect one is the god is is the way making a way that showing a way that which way we should walk so i just use that word father forgive myself first that what i am doing i does not know and teach me lord that which way is correct which way is bringing to you a way that bringing that way of light of the god's uh, way show me the way lord give me your wisdom and understanding each way where i am walking through and and i just uh, and lord taught me do not worry just one who is coming against you they are not your enemy but one who is coming against you through your loved ones that is the enemy just go and love them and forgive them and pray for them so that is the word the lord has spoken to me so thank you jesus for your rehema word uh, sorry for thank you jesus for your logos word come it to rehema word and every day i just writing it down the everyone's name and i every, that day lord spoken to me and then that that day i wrote everyone's name and i start to one who is coming against me i just break the power of bitterness over everyone's heart and pour that everyone's heart god's love through the holy spirit overflow overflow there is and bless their every ones for everything whatever they need that a god should provide them and when the day i was start to speaking myself that faith over my loved ones and now really doesn't matter what my loved ones are doing it is matter most of most important thing what i am doing to my loved ones am i cursing them 
or am I speaking faith over them? Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful testimony. This test turns into testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, uh, sir, anything you want to ask? Praise God, sister. This is Praise God. Can, can do the thanks being prayer. Okay. It's okay. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we glorify your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you take complete control of my mind, my occult gods, my spirits, my soul, and my body. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you use my body. You teach us about what is faith and how it works. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Lord, one who is listening this teaching, touch their heart with your anointing, Lord and fill them with your love and fill them with Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus, that what I speak by my faith that already we received in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Genesia. 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 Thank you, Sister Gen